Well, the you look especially tired today. It was a very tough series, I guess. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was very tough. I think the whole challenge stage has been really tough for the whole team. Um, I think actually just looking back at it, I think we're all just very happy that we made it this far. Because um, I mean, if you go maybe two days back, I wouldn't say we doubted ourselves, but we at least had issues that we had to solve before we would even get to this point. So. So far, so good. I'm just really relieved and happy that we made it this far because it wasn't looking pretty. Did you personally feel the pressure about this uh, this uh, legend stage challenge for you? I just think Counter Strike is evolving so much that you barely get like, you barely get any easy matches nowadays. Like you always go up against teams that uh, you know it's a major. Everyone is really prepared. You don't really get easy matches. You've seen like uh, the teams that are kind of the underdogs of the tournament. You know, I've seen Greyhound and IHG. Teams that 9C for that matter as well, like people don't expect too much from them, but they're actually putting up a really great show. And whenever you get into this kind of thing where you get pushed to the limit, Counter Strike just gets like all about mental. Like it's all about keeping your cool and doing the right things. And we've done it pretty well, but not the best. Vertigo for start was a really close match. You almost lost it. Uh, where did you find the difference to come back? I think. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like, I think we had a pretty good idea what to do, and I think we played pretty well in the beginning. I, we even fell, we fell behind like 5-0, and usually starting out bad for us has been an issue, but I don't know. Um, we just started playing better, we played more as a team, and we didn't panic. And then when we got to the CT side, I think start, things were starting to roll, but we got into the mindset that, hey, things are going really good, let's just uh, you know keep peaking. And we just ended up over peaking too much and losing a lot of the, the advanced situation that we shouldn't have done. And uh, yeah, that was like the tough part of it. And I told the guys when we hit 15-15, I said, like, the only reason why we're actually losing right now is because we're overpeaking. So when we have the advantage, we need to play a little bit more together. So I think that's like, uh, that was like one of the key moments. Maybe. On the other hand, the second map was totally different. Do you have something to mention about it? I, was, I think it was a weird map. And so I, it's a very classic Vitality Inferno right now. I mean, we get up to a good start winning the pistol, just completely faltering, losing the second buy, and then we just never get a foothold. Like we, don't know what to do. We keep losing map control. We're, uh, we're playing kind of scared, and we're not doing things correctly. And we never really got a chance. So they just played a lot better than us, and we kind of lost it a little bit in that sense. So we got a little bit more, a lot more frustrated than we that we we should have been. So yeah, that was probably the main issue. Well, but then the, the bright side was finally that's two. Uh, what did you talk about during the map change? Uh, why did you show your better face? Uh, we just reminded each other that why we're here and that we needed to focus on the identity that we have as a team. We also talked about the fact that we were close to winning. They are also close. Like both teams were close to winning when it's the third map, obviously. They only need one more map. And we needed to show that we were the bigger team. Like We needed to show that we had the stronger mentality, keeping it cool, you know. Because it's usually when you get close that it starts getting really difficult to win, you know. So I think that was very important. Um, and we just reminded each other that that maybe we're not playing our best right now, but we just need to be a little bit more, a little bit better and it will be enough for us to win. Despite you're not playing your best, for example, HLTV decided that you are the best team in the world at their rank. Uh, do, you, do you even feel that confident after winning the ESL Pro League or not? Not right now. I mean, maybe after Pro League and, and stuff like that, I think things were going really well. And I'm not saying that we've changed anything and we're not playing with confidence, but I definitely feel like going into the major, maybe that was like we talked about this pressure thing being all of a sudden being a little bit of a favorite for the major and, sh and stuff like that. Um, but I, uh, we've had such a wild, wild schedule with the team right now. And just looking back, I think that we, we couldn't really handle the pressure in the best way we could. And we ended up in a situation that we shouldn't have ended up in some of the videos. And we in general just didn't play the way we wanted to. And that's why we found ourselves in, in the in the one two bracket, and from there on it was just like, yeah, it can only get worse from there. So we like we just need to keep improving. And so I think that's what that changed for us. Did the European team suffer a kind of jet lag? Did you have to get used to this uh, these hours here in Brazil? Uh, do you think also that might be a benefit from you being playing this week to face the legend stage, or maybe you are too tired for this? I think it's uh, really good for us that we have at least a couple of days now where we can rest. I think we have, maybe it's only one day. I'm not actually sure. I think we have, I think it's three days. No, one day, one day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One day, three. Yeah, so it's one day, so, and it's media day tomorrow. And I think we have also stuff we need to do for Vitality. So it's like the only kind of rest we get is tonight, which I think is really good. Um, 
It's always a big question because, you know, teams coming from the Legends that, you know, they also, you know, we've, we've tried playing here. We're like kind of also already in the mindset, but we've also used energy and they come really refreshed. So it can go either way, actually. Sometimes you see teams coming from, coming directly to Legends and just not playing, playing well at all. And then you have the team that has been here for a long time playing really well and then they start losing. It's kind of hard to say. Well, the last question is, what do you feel about best of one matches at the Major? Uh, it's very mixed. Some teams think I think I think the viewers think it's very interesting, and it can also be interesting in some sense for a player because you know you like you need to only be focused for maybe an hour, but you really need to play your well and, and and not make too many mistakes. But I still believe that best of threes will always show what the better team is in some sense. So yeah.